Welcome back into Good Morning Maryland. Maryland lawmakers are trying to repair problems with the unemployment system. They also want to send workers immediate relief. In many cases, those workers have not gotten unemployment benefits for months. WMAR 2 News' Mallory Safoste has more on what they're proposing and a key issue the governor feels is not being addressed right now. The Relief Act passed by the Senate on Friday includes a $1,000 grant to claimants in adjudication purgatory. Those payments could come as soon as the first week in March, but first it'll need to be approved by the House and the governor. 43,000 people stuck in limbo, waiting for an answer, a callback, a time and date for a phone interview. Then it said hold separation issues. You know, and I've tried to call several. I mean, just like everybody else, you can't get through to anybody. Everything is there. All they need to do is just respond. There's many, many Marylanders waiting for this. The Department of Labor has hired more adjudicators, and while the backlog hasn't exponentially grown with new claims, it hasn't drastically shrunk either. My lease was terminated, um, so I'm out at the end of the month. Claimants are running out of options. The legislature's version of a life raft is a $1,000 grant sent to workers whose claim has been pending a determination of eligibility and in adjudication for at least 30 days, with the exception of claims that may be held up due to fraud. We are targeting direct payments for those who are hanging on by a thread. According to the comptroller's office, these grants would go out via check or direct deposit. As soon as the bill is signed, money could be issued within several days of receiving claimants' information. The first batch of names are due by March 3rd, with a new deadline every month through July 6th. Claimants may not receive more than one grant. We're one of only four states in the country uh, that we can't get fast answers because we're required to have a long drawn out appeals process that can take six months or 12 months. Looking for ways to prevent this backlog in the future, Governor Hogan wants Maryland's mitigation system revamped. So questionable claims aren't drawn out they'd be denied, then claimants could appeal. This is how it works in most states, such as Wisconsin. I ended up waiting a total of, I believe, um, 39 weeks. And yet they also have a backlog, more than 15,000 cases now awaiting appeals. It's taking now four to six weeks just to process that appeal. And then it's gonna be another four to six months before you get a hearing. Maryland Senate President Bill Ferguson has said they're not considering this option. If the response to what uh, to this crisis is find ways to deny more claims, then we will have failed as a state. What we need to do is fix the system and adjudicate the claims faster. The governor's communications director said, quote, there are a number of ways to address the mitigation problem, but legislators have demonstrated that they prefer to maintain the status quo and keep people stuck in limbo. Hogan called the Senate's approval of the Relief Act a bipartisan victory and encouraged the House to move just as quickly. Now, his office would not comment on the $1,000 grants, saying it would be premature to speculate on provisions that aren't finalized. That was Mallory Safaste reporting yesterday was the deadline to introduce new bills. The legislation for other unemployment reforms were introduced and will work their way through the system. Now for the latest on unemployment, just head to our website, wmar2news.com slash unemployment guide. 